In this video, we will use an example to illustrate the calculation of payback period and discounted payback period. Here we have an investment proposal that is five years long. The initial outlay is $200,000 followed by a series of cash inflows. So the company may want to evaluate the payback period of this investment proposal. In other words, how long would it take to recover the outlay that has been invested into this project. So for this investment proposal, the initial outlay is $200,000. So how many years would it take to recover that initial outlay? So what we need to do is we need to calculate the cumulative cash flow. So to do that, we will need to, of course, sum up the cash flows for every year. So at time zero, okay, the cumulative cash flow is just $200,000. And then in year one, the project will generate a cash inflow of $50,000. So if you take negative $200,000 okay, uh, plus $50,000, so cumulatively, the company still needs to recover $150,000. And by the following year, if you take uh, negative $150,000 plus $60,000, okay, so that will be negative $90,000. And by the third year, okay, uh, you, the company will receive another 80,000. So negative 90,000 plus 80,000, that is another te negative 10,000. Okay, so that means there's, the company needs another $10,000, okay, to recover all its capital. So by year four, there is a cash inflow of uh, $70,000. So in this case, negative 10,000 plus 70,000. So that will be positive 60,000. And uh, 60 plus 60 in year 5, that will be positive 120,000. Now, to look for the payback period, look for the period where the cumulative cash flow changes from negative to positive. Okay, so that happens between year 3 and year 4. So, in other words, the payback period is in between these two periods. And this number tells us that the company has another $10,000 to recover. And that $10,000 will be recovered from the $70,000 in year 4. And assuming that the cash flows are distributed evenly over the year, so the payback period should be 3 years. Okay, take 3 years plus the 10000 remaining amount, 10000 and then divide by the cash flow in the year 4, 70000 So that would be 70000 So that would be 3.14 years. So that's uh, the payback period. The company can interpret this number as telling them that they will need 3.14 years to recover the initial outlay of $200,000. Now, let's say if you are required to calculate the discounted payback period, then you need the discount rate for this investment proposal. Okay, so the discount rate reflects the risk of the cash flows and the investment. And before we calculate the cumulative amount, we will need to calculate the present value of the cash flows for every year from year one to year five. Uh, of course, at time zero, the PV will still be 200,000. Okay, so this has not changed. So it's still the same amount. But for year one, we will take 50,000. So you take 50,000 divide by 1.08 to power of one, All right? So that will be uh, 46,296.29. Uh, for year two, we will take 60,000 divide by 1.08 to power of two. So that's uh, 51,440.33. Uh, for year three, you will take 80,000. You divide by 1.08 to power of three. So that gives you 63,506.58. For year 4, you will take 70,000 divided by 1.08 to the power of 4. So that's uh, 51,452.09. For year 5, that's uh, 60,000 divided by 1.08 to the power of 5. So that will be 40,834.99. Now, we will still need to calculate the cumulative amount, but the cumulative figure will be based on the PV of the cash flows. All right, so like for example, in year one, okay, we will take negative 200,000 plus the PV of cash flow in year one, 
uh, which is 46,296.29. So that will be negative 153,703.71. Okay, and then we continue to do the same thing for year two. So in year two, we'll take uh, negative 153,703.71 plus uh, 51.4,000. So that gives us negative 102,263.38. Right, and then for the third year, we'll add in 63.5,000. So that's negative 38,756.8. For year four, we'll add 51.5,000. So that becomes a positive of 12,695.29. Right, and finally we add in 48.8,000, although it's not needed. Okay, uh, that's a positive 53,530.28. So again, the discounted payback period will be the period where the cumulative PV changes from a negative figure to a positive figure. Okay, again, it's between year 3 and year 4. Okay, so we'll take the first year here, which is uh, 3, and then we'll add in the amount that we need to recover. So that's uh, 38,756.8. Then we divide by the present value of cash flows in year four. Okay. So we are saying that this amount that we are going to recover is going to come from this PV of cash flows. Okay. So that will be equals to 3.75 years. Okay. And it will be longer than the payback period earlier that we computed as 3.14 years. Now, we are going to do the same thing again. We're going to calculate the payback period and the discounted payback period, but this time we are going to use the financial calculator. All right, so we are going to use the Texas BA2 Plus professional version. Okay, so if you are using the basic version, then it's too bad. You can't, uh, you can't get the payback period and discounted payback period through the built-in function. But if you have the professional version, you can try this out. Right, so this is the older version of the calculator, but uh, now they have changed the packaging. So of course, the newer version of the professional version, okay, uh, looks uh, black in color, okay, metallic black. Now, uh, of course, I'm going to press the cash flow button, okay. So my CFO will be two hundred thousand, okay, and that's negative, and then for cash flow one, that's fifty thousand, cash flow two, that's sixty thousand. Okay, and then uh, for cash flow three, that's uh, eighty thousand. Cash flow four, that's seventy thousand, and cash flow five is uh, sixty thousand. Right, so just check to make sure that there's no other cash flows entered there. Okay, so the last cash flow should be the cash flow in year five. Then uh, press NPV. I will be your discount rate, which is eight percent. So press eight, press enter. Scroll down, of course, uh, if you want the NPV, you can compute the NPV. That's 53.53 thousand. That is the amount that we see here at the very last row. Okay, that's the NPV of the investment proposal. Uh, then, of course, there's a net future value. The payback period, PB, you can press compute. Okay, so this is the 3.14 years uh, that we compute previously. Of course, uh, this number does not require the discount rate. Okay, but for the next one, the DPB, which is a discounted payback period, for this, you will need the discount rate to be entered in. Okay, so I'll press compute. Okay, and you get 3.75. Okay, that's the same number that we have here. 3.75, yes. Right, so if you have the professional version of the calculator, then getting the payback period and the discounted payback period is, of course, faster. Okay, but... If you don't have it, you just have the basic version. There's not a big problem. You can still compute it. Okay, it takes a slightly longer time depending on how many years the investment proposal is. Okay, but if you have practiced this, then you should be able to get it without much difficulty.